All right, so now in this episode, we're going to be learning about Django Braces, which is a third-party package that adds mixins to uh, the class-based view system. Because Django's built-in generic views, they have a lot of power to them, but they're still missing some things, such as login required mixin, right? Um, that is one example that we went through, um, and we are going to go ahead and uh, get rid of that, right, and replace it with the Django braces. So what we did is we have auth required mixin, and in our auth required mixins, um, we just we defined it here. But there are a lot of things that are very common, um, but aren't essential enough to add into Django core, and that's where Django braces comes in. Um, so to start, we're just going to go ahead and delete. We're just going to go ahead and delete that mixin. And in here, we're going to go ahead and replace it. But first, let's go ahead and take a look at what Django Braces has to offer. They have four main, or maybe three main sections. Um, kind of access mixins, which is like login required. And it has all of these other mixins that you might want to use. If you have a view that you only want staff members to use, for instance, or super users. Um, you know, they have all of this, which are good to look through, um, for two reasons. One reason is because they are useful. The second reason is that it just gives you a good idea about how to write a mix-in. Um, for example, let's go ahead and take a look at their, um, login required mix-in, uh, access. So their login required mixin is going to do exactly what we were doing before. Um, login required mixin. Um, they're going to tie into the dispatch and they're going to see if the user is not authenticated, they're going to do this self to handle no permission, right? Um, if not, if they are logged in, then they're just going to return the parent dispatch, right? With the super. So this handle no permissions isn't here. So obviously it comes from somewhere. It comes from this access mixin um, right here. Their access mixin, which are they are going to use for all of their access mixins, and it's going to run this where uh, I don't know what is doing. Um, it's essentially just going to be raising a an error if uh, self handle no permissions. It's going to raise an error um, if it doesn't fill certain requirements, right? So we're going to go ahead and use this in our code. So we deleted the mixin that we had and we're going to go ahead and import from, uh, I think it's braces maybe, import. Auto required mixin, and we are going to replace the auth required mixin, auth required mixin, auth required. So update, delete, and create. We want them to be um, login required. Uh, I don't know if this is right. We'll see if this works. I might need to some article, and I'm going to create that. So it looks like it worked. Um, let's go ahead and log. Out and make sure that it worked. And let's go ahead in here. Create. Okay, cool. So it worked, right? Um, it's when we go to create. If we're not logged in, it's going to send us to the login. And and then it's going to push us back like normal, right? So that is what Jingle Braces is in a nutshell. Um, obviously, there's a lot of examples to go through. Um, I'm going to leave that up to you guys, um, but what you should know is that it adds in a whole bunch of very useful mixins um, that you can add into your own code so that you can do things like this, login required mixin, uh, and make sure to put them before the parent view, and you can add in these mixins without having to write them yourself. However, I do highly, highly, highly suggest to go look at the source code because this is Part of this is kind of the best thing that helped me is looking at at other code and kind of understanding how they do it 
and then I was able to understand it a little better. So definitely go look at the source code um, of Jingle Braces to learn about how to write mixins and how to include them. Um, and then you can write your own mixins in your own projects and have a better understanding. Um, next episode is the last episode. Uh, to be honest, I don't know what it's going to be about yet. Uh, I might I have to kind of think about what, what to end it with. It might be a conclusion episode. It might be another feature. Um, we'll see what happens. Um, but until then, you know, go out, use Jingle Braces, and have a good time learning. I'll see you next time.